Hello guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, uh, I'll explain the solution of uh, one of the error which has taken place for one of my students. And this is a very simple error, guys, but the solution is a bit different here. Business area is required entry, and this is the masses uh, number which is appearing. And this business area is required entry, guys, at the time of creation of asset master. So now the first thing what you people are, or everybody has to check is like, so how the asset master fields are getting controlled, guys. I hope you guys might be knowing this. So we are having like screen layout for that also, screen layout rule. Right, if you go to A01 here, these are the asset class and this is the company code. When I create, let's suppose a test assets, time dependent. So here what is happening? If I don't enter anything, it is saying like business area is a required entry, right? So you have to check, first of all, what? First of all, you have to check here. So screen layout, SPRO, now I'll show here. So in a screen layout, generally what is happening? In a screen layout, it is, the business area field is optional itself. So here, what is happening? Now, uh, just do one thing. So, organizational structure now. <coughs> yes, here. An asset class, and then here. Not here, sorry. So we have to come here, master data. There we can create uh, the screen layout rule, but the field controls are, okay. It is going to be from here and double click here as it master. So uh, his layout is I think ZK02, ZK10, I think ZK10. So how you guys will be able to confirm this, you can check it like OA, OA, right? Asset class, asset class is like already that we have seen. This is the asset class and in asset class he has assigned ZK10. So now JK10 is the screen layout and where it is under time dependent data. So here the business area field where it is, it is optional, right? It is optional. So what is the problem guys? Now the problem is again, you come here and look at here. So this is what the error. So you made the business area required entry field screen layout control. You want business area balance sheet in company code. Business area balance sheet. It means you made the business area a required entry field in a screen layout, right? Which is not, which is not, it is not required. Or you want business area balance sheet. Okay. Now you want. So business area balance it. Balance it you want business area wise, right? Therefore, every asset has specially assigned to a business area. It means now the first one we have already checked. Now what about second one? This business area balance it. It is not required, guys. This is what the problem. When you guys like without knowing if you guys are going to activate something, then of course it will create a problem. So either what you have to do, either you have to enter the business area or else you have to deactivate, right? So there it is, guys. Now I think it is there. Old settings. So uh, go to SPRO and where it is? Financial accounting. I think global setting itself you'll be having business area options somewhere. Okay, no, it, it's not here actually. It's here in old setting you'll be having. I think there it is, guys. Financial accounting, then global setting here. Yeah. Yes, business area is there. Right? You just expand this one and enable this one, I think, right? Enable business area balance sheet. Let me check. So what is the company code? JK02. JK02, right? Ah, look at here. This is activated. Deactivate and save. Let's see what is happening. Okay, now. If I come back here, go to slash NA01, enter the details here, and time dependent. I don't want to enter anything. Allocation now it is working fine. So, this is what the solution, guys. Now, here because of this activation, uh, what do you say? SAP was asking to enter the business area. 